Well, you got four – is it four touchdowns all against the Washington Redskins? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, well, you know, a three that, in a row for my rookie year and then when, had my off decade. And in my final year is the, that last one I scored. And that was the best one because I – Oh, you know, yeah. I finally spiked the ball. Got a little Hollywood in me. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's talk about your book now. So um, a dream. Let's see, living the dream on America's team. What? Uh, what? How long did it take you to write that? Well, it took uh, it took about three months. I uh, finished my last uh, construction job. I was building a uh, you know nonprofit. Uh, uh, thing for you know unwed mothers uh not unwed mothers but uh giving job skills and you know get into the job market and that was for the uh, baptist uh, church and uh, when i finished that i i could have taken another you know couple jobs and i said no no i you know once you're in construction you got to live it and breathe it every day and i said okay i i need to get done and so i i just stopped to think uh man a life i i did a you know a bunch i ran my own business you know for 48 years and then play and overlapped it and so what i did you know i did all the whole off season uh you know getting ready to make the transition because you know we didn't make, make enough money you know to retire and you know have a you know bunch you know there is just okay. we barely got enough to live on and you know a little, little bit more affluent than people our age but, uh, right. you know, it was something that we just had to do. And Chuck Holly was kind of my uh, inspiration. He, he had a, a commercial uh, dry cleaning business and, you know, he would get dressed fast after practice and go to the office. And I ended up doing the same thing. And, uh, but, you know, my wife basically, you know, handled me not being there and, uh, so anyway, she was a, you know, she was a big help to uh, uh, do all the things. Plus we were raising, you know, two kids and uh, which uh, is our pride and joy, our, you know, son and daughter who are little kids now, 48 and 51 years old. <laughs> <laughs> They're always your babies though. So. Yeah. You know. Well, that's my baby girl. My baby yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, um, was it hard for you to write the book? I mean, you started it, it, it. The book covers from. I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised. So he's my uh, father-in-law had wrote a book uh, about uh, canoeing. He canoed the whole length of the Mississippi River down to New Orleans, and he uh, when he went, uh, you know, across. Uh, uh, forget the name of the city, but right when you cross the Mississippi. Uh, it had a lot of whirlwinds and whatever, you know, those little things in the water. And he damn near, you know, killed himself. And that inspired him to go on to, uh, to be a preacher. And uh, right after he did that, then he got, you know, he had to go in the World War II. And so he taught survival in uh, Alaska. But anyway, you know, he'd written that book and, and he gave me this uh, book, just how to write a book. And it was just the basics of doing it. And it made sense to me. I, you know, I read every night before I go to bed, you know, a couple of chapters, uh, you know, some mystery, some are good, some aren't. So right. I, I felt I needed to, you know, flow, feel with it and try to write it like, okay, you're talking to me and you're asking this question, this, and this kind of led to that. And, you know, this was, and one big help was my mother, <laughs> bless her heart. She kept a, a scrapbook for all my high school years in basketball and football in all 13 years so i had a reference to go back you oh, know, that's to good do the events but the recollection of the players i mean i played you know seven years with bob lilly and then the next year mm -hmm. randy white came in and i played six years with him and of course harvey martin and tuto and Jethro Pugh and george andre i mean these were the best all you know good players good guys and i was uh, blessed to be around those kind of people and those stories are in this book? Yes, absolutely. All right. It goes from well, year to year. Yeah, every every year, every year it's a new team. You have to recognize that. 
you know, you aren't the team you were before, even with the same people, you know, things change. You got new draft choices. These guys retired. These guys came in. Mm -hmm. And in 1975, you know, the dirty, you know, dozen, they called it. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the year that, you know, Coach Landry uh, brought back the uh, shotgun, you know, pass, you know, lining up mm -hmm. deep, like, you know, Robert Staubach did that. And of course, every quarterback does that now. Right. So, you know, it was, you know, actually, it was used in the 50s, but, he thought it was good because, you know, Roger wasn't getting, you know, rating the, the, you know, the, the formations. And I mean, this helped him tremendously. And then they develop, you know, plays off of that. And, you know, the modern football these days is, I mean, that it grew off of that. And, uh, you know, uh, Fran Tarkington was a great scrambling quarterback, but, you know, he never, you know, was able to do that. <laughs> Thank God he didn't or he would have <laughs> beat us more off. 